Hi, I'm Luke from Recce Works, and this is how to make a no-nonsense round bottom roll down. Right back. Things you'll need, some waterproof fabric that could be a PU coated fabric, or today we're going to be using the Channon Sailcloth EPLX 200, which uses a PSA tape, but the PU coated fabric will use a heat adhesive tape. Some 20 mil webbing, 20 mil male and female buckle, some one millimeter PP sheet, and your printouts, which are available in the description below. First thing we're going to do is glue our printouts together. Now that we've got our printouts glued together, we're going to cut it out of the fabric. So now we're going to mark uh, our little points here and also these little points. And same over here. First thing we're going to do is Fold this down the center line, but only at this end, so we get our little increases. And then we're going to add our little fold in here, it's very small, to allow for the straight top roll down. And then the same thing on the other end. Uh, next thing we're going to do is stitch our roll down section to our actual dry bag section. The now we're going to fold in our little section here. stitch that, facing downwards onto the main section. trim off this extra, the pattern will be correct. This next stitch is folding the face fabric to face fabric over like this and then stitching down this way. Make sure you're pulling these tight apart so that you know it's flat on the outside. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to tape all the way along this. So depending on the coating of the fabric that you're using, you might want to use this heat adhesive um, tape, which is applied using one of these little mini mouse irons, or um, this is the Challenge Cell Cloth, which uses a PSA tape, which stands for pressure sensitive adhesive. And uh, we're just going to stick that straight down there, press on it really hard.
Uh, next thing we're gonna do is put on our base to this. And I always find it's easier if you mark your quarters clearly. Um, so you know if you're in front or behind of where you should be because to match these up is actually very rarely happens. So you can see here I'm a little bit uh, behind on the base, so I'm going to like increase the amount that I'm putting through on the top by going a little bit wider so that it can catch up. And you see here now I've caught up, so I know I'm in line. A little bit in front again, so I'm going to keep going through higher on this one. Next thing we're going to do is sew this one flat upwards. And we want it to go up into the bag rather than onto the bottom. thing we're going to do is we're going to tape around here and there's no real easy way to do this unless you've got something which you can put on the inside which is exactly this diameter um, and I think the closest thing I've got is the tape rule spool itself. I'm going to shove the spool in there. So the first edge you want to stick down is this surface all the way around. All right, and we're going to stick this down just a little bit. Then we're going to go around to the top edge and push it in at intervals. And then we're going to push in the little nipples. And then we're just going to go around and rub everything. But this is the point now that you can take this thing up. And then we're going to roll it around on the table pushing hard on that seam, on, the, on this flat seam on the inside, so that we're making a good bond. And then we're going to go around on the flat part of it, and do the same thing. And then because it's pressure sensitive adhesive, we're going to give it a little blast of pressure or pinpointed pressure using a lighter going around, especially where you can see the seam here. I want to go right up against that so that there's a good seal next to that. One last turn using the flat part of the lighter so that we're doing um, the rest of the um, thing as well. You can see here's a little bit up, so we're going for the rest of the lighter now to do the rest of it. Okay, 
and then just go around and check to see that it's stuck good. And if it's not, you can give it an extra hand with your thumbs. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just soften the edges of here so they're not so sharp, so it doesn't wear through. So we're just burning them and then running our fingers over it. So the idea here is that this stitch here is in the middle and we're rolling down onto that. So the plastic actually goes on the opposite edge of that. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold this over so that that seam is just like this. And we're gonna create that fold all the way around. We have our little uh, seams here which help us mark the uh, centers on this side but we're also going to mark them with a pen because that makes our life a little bit easier. This goes in here and this gets folded underneath it and round and under it. Plastic is engulfed by those folds. And we're going to start in the middle section because it makes it lives a lot easier. And we're stitching through the plastic on this. And you can move the plastic over so that it's just short of our little pencil line here. It should be about 10 millimeters short of that. And I can feel it here, 10 centimeters short, 10 millimeters short. And on this side. a little bit longer, so we're going to move it over a little bit more. Okay, we're good. We're starting in the middle here. And we're stitching on the uh, bottom edge of this. We're going through the plastic. The next thing we're going to be doing is putting this webbing onto here. Before that, we're going to mark the center of it. So now we know it's going to sit in the center on this line here. And then we're going to measure 50 away from the end on both ends. Because that is where these are going to fit. So line that up there. This, is, uh, this has a direction, but it actually inserts either way into one of these, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, for neatness, we're going to have it facing the right way up, and we're threading it through here. And then the 50 should be at where that folds. And then that's going on here. And we're going to stitch 10 millimeters away from the halfway point. So mark 10 mil. We're stitching right on the edge here. Now, when we're stitching down here, we want to make sure that this webbing is right up against this edge. this piece on, make sure it's facing the same direction as the other one, which is 
this way up for this one. Pull that back to your 50 line. That's how you make a roll down dry bag and these are generally a little bit longer uh, than normal because in case you want to roll it down four times just that you actually have some useful volume once you're rolling down. Some other things to note is with these PSA tapes it really is about pressure sensitivity so the more you can press down on them the better but you know not with a sharp object don't be using a, you know, a blunt end of a knife or something that's too sharp you know this round part of a lighter is a good one to use and before you use them, generally let PSA tapes set for maybe 48 hours before you start using this bag regularly. You can scale the drawings proportionally to make bigger or smaller dry bag. That's it. That's how to make a dry bag.